All right, what's going on today, YouTube? Welcome back to your favorite cyclist YouTube channel. Today, we're back with a bike quick talks. Today, very something very simple. Does your bike have a cassette or a freewheel? Easy ways to tell. Very simple thing. We're gonna go into that in this video, but first, if you are not subscribed, make sure you head down below, hit that subscribe button. If it is red, that means you're not subscribed, so you're missing all these great videos. If it already are subscribed, make sure you head down, hit that little bell icon next to that subscribe button. That way you get notified every time I upload so you don't miss any of these awesome videos I make here. So, cassette versus freewheel. What is the difference? Well, if you have a multi-speed multi bike or even a single speed bike, where if you stop pedaling and you hear the clicking from the back end, or you're able to keep your pedals in one place as you coast, and not, you know, and you pedal backwards and it'll just ratchet backwards, similar to this sound here. That means you have a cassette or a freewheel. So how can you tell which one you have and why would you need to know? Well, let's start with the why you need to know. First, you need to know if you're gonna try and take that off. If you're gonna try and take that off, you need to know which tool to get and which replacement you would need to get for it. You don't wanna get a cassette when you have a freewheel. It's not gonna work. They don't go together at all. So how do you tell the difference between them? I'm gonna start with the freewheel. I don't have a demonstration freewheel for you, but I will put up some pictures on the screens here so you can see what I'm talking about. Essentially a freewheel is all contained on one unit, all contained in the unit with the gears. Pretty much that screws onto the hub of your, of your bicycle wheel, pretty much a screw on here. Pretty much you'd have threads right here where this flat spot is here, and you would just screw your free hub right onto there. And that would have you how that functions. Everything is self-contained in that unit. Most bikes are gonna have that. It's gonna be your department store bikes. A lot of times if you have seven speeds or less on the bike, generally you're gonna have a freewheel. You can have a seven speed cassette. There's kind of uncommon, but if you have a seven speed or less, most of them are gonna have a freewheel. Be able to look, if you look at it on the bike, if you take your wheel off, a lot of times you're either gonna have a bolt on axle or you're gonna be able to look inside and you wouldn't see like a lock ring or anything like that on there. Now what's a lock ring? Well, I'm gonna move into cassettes here and I'll kind of explain a little bit more there. So cassette is what I have on all my bikes here. Generally, like I said, eight speeds or more, you're gonna have a cassette. It is, they do make an eight speed freewheel, very uncommon again, and they make seven speed cassettes. So it's kind of a rule, just kind of a basic rule of thumb. Best way to be able to tell a cassette from a freewheel. If you take it off and you clean up right around here, you actually notice it has what looks like a lock ring and a lot of times it says that it is a lock ring on there. Now, once you take that off, you'll actually be able to tell that you have a cassette versus a freewheel because there's that lock spring out lock ring I was talking about that pretty much holds that cassette onto the we onto the the hub. And then as you'll see, these gears, I think it was the first two on this one, are separate from the rest, and you can actually just grab this whole body here and slide it off. And now if you look at this, this is just gears. There's nothing else there from which you could bolt this up to something and it would it would just be a set of gears. So that's how you tell there. And then if you look at the actual wheel, that's your actual free hub body right here. So that's gonna be your difference is this is built into the wheel on a cassette versus a free hub is gonna be built into the actual, um, actual gear assembly itself. Very simple, if you don't know how to take one of these off, Make sure you check out my video that I posted last week, showed how to take off a cassette so you can get your your bicycle wheel repaired, change that out if it's worn out, make sure you get everything all set. So I hope that video helped you understand the difference between a cassette and a freewheel and what they are. If you have any other tips for anybody, post them down below in the comments. Love hearing from you guys, love hearing your guys' input as well. And if you did enjoy this video, give it a big thumbs up, greatly appreciate it. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching today.